Hello everybody who is loving uh, deep learning and machine learning and in this video I will introduce the univariate multi-layer perception model and how it look like this look like a simple neural network uh, and it is a supervised uh, type model and you can see that this look like uh, the simple one we have a feature in this in the very beginning we have a first and second hidden layers and the output and uh, in this example we will try to train uh, a multi-layer perception model for univariate time series forecasting and the plan of attack will be to define a simple univariate problem as a sequence of integers and the second step is to fit a model on the sequence uh, on the other words train the model and uh, the last step will be to have the model predicted next value in the sequence in the simple words we will predict a next value for our sequences and some explanation for the model and uh, so uh, the first note that I have to highlight for you is to define numbers of input step will be free uh, because we define that we will have three independent variables uh, in the model and so we'll put a uh, free value for input the argument on the first hidden layer and the second note will this is uh, we'll use an efficient atom version of stochastic gradient descent it is very popular uh, method for deep learning and neural networks and I guess it's will work and the uh, last note that I have to highlight for you is to optimize the mean square error it's MSA loss function and so we implement all the stuff in Python and I think uh, we can start to uh, run the code the first thing the first step is to import models and package We'll use NumPy, we we'll use Keras model, and from Keras we import sequential and dense to build uh, our neural network. So let's start. And don't pay attention to any warnings in this place because uh, we have some uh, know that we will use a TensorFlow backend, it's only for uh, notification purpose. So don't pay attention to this. And the second uh, step is to load the data set and in this place you can to load data set from external CSV file or to define your data set uh, manually inside the code and for the example purpose we'll define data set inside the code uh, in order that all the case should be clear for you so we'll define our data set and we can see that we have a, this is independent data it is one two three four rows and in each rows we have a one two three independent variables and for each rows we have a dependent data dependent variables and for each for first rows we have a 40 for second rows we have 50 for third rows we have 60 and for last rows we have 70 and this is dependent data dependent variables is i and independent variables is x and the last step is to define our uh, neural network and we initialize the model we initialize the network by uh, defining sequential function to our model and so the next step is to add the first hidden layer and we'll use actuation function ReLU uh, that returns us the uh, real value uh, for for predicted for prediction and as we discussed before uh, we will use a three uh, input nodes because we have one 
two free independent variables for each row. And we'll add this hidden layer to the model and compile. And we'll use Adam for gradient stochastic descent. And uh, we'll fit the model by loss function, by minimize loss function. And so I will fit the model to the set and we'll demonstrate the prediction. We will see what the value will be predicted for our model. So run it. Okay, so we have a result. Uh, the predicted value is 40. Sorry, it's 80. It's 80. And uh, as you can see, we have a sequence like this. For first uh, row, we have 40. For second row, we have 50. For third row, we have 60. For fourth row, we have 70. And for fifth row, we have 80. This is our result, and uh, I know this is a very, very simple explanation with very simple data set, but I think that it could be a very good start for understand how to work technically in Python. And as you can see, we have a very big space for developing for apply this technique to your real business case and uh, I think I will provide more videos in my channel in future so thank you for watching and happy analyzing and happy working on deep learning and machine learning so thank you and goodbye